When we work with sand painting, we step into the mythic. We become like a child when we were young, playing with the earth. And we're stepping outside of space and time. Here I'm blowing my prayers to the Hanuk Patcha, to the upper world, to the Kai Patcha, to the middle world, and to the Uku Patcha, to the lower world. So we're building a spirit circle as a container for the energy for this work. We need to be clear about the issue that we're bringing. We do not place people into the painting. It's the issue that we have with the person or the situation we're working on. So I'm blowing the essence of myself into the crystal. Seeing where that's being held in my body, I'm blowing that in and then I'm gonna place that wherever I feel it needs to go. Then I'm putting in um, the issue that I'm working with. I can use several things to represent the issues, or it could be one issue. And then I'm placing in leaves to represent um, what's getting in the way of resolving this issue. So I'm asking Mother Earth for her help here. I'm asking her to help me bring this into balance. I'm going to place some flowers and some berries as my gratitude to Mother Earth for doing that. Just to allow Mother Earth to then send her finest energies through the sun painting and help me bring this into balance. So I'm also asking for the help of the archetypal energies that I work with, serpent, jaguar, hummingbird and eagle, to just help me bring harmony and ease. We leave the sand painting to cook over several days. And in this case, there was a huge storm. And so I felt that that was a real cleansing with the rain and with the wind. And they brought their own messages for me. And they told me that I needed to make my boundaries stronger. And I also, the wind blew away the red leaves as you can see, and I've placed more flowers as gratitude. And there are some bay leaves, which I blew my prayers and wishes into, just as more gratitude, more sami. So we're bringing more sweetness, more love to the sand painting as the process continues. And that's what transforms the heaviness in the center. I use my bell as well to bring even more harmony and to help integrate the energies into my body. So I'm always feeling in my body what's happening in sand painting. And sometimes I can sit with my sand painting and journal and sing and drum. And so I get a very good connection to the universe through the sand painting. And when I feel that it's coming to an end, that that energy is balanced in Aini, reciprocity, um, I've given in order to receive, and then I start taking away the sticks and the combustible items, and I wrap them in paper ready to create a sacred fire. So I'm gradually just taking away the items, uh, either placing them on the earth or burning them. That's the end of the process. <laughs>